to Living 808. We're having fun today. Uh, there's a new exhibition at the Honolulu Museum of Art, and that's where you'll find Kelly Simon. The exhibition Animals in Japanese Art is the newest addition here at the Honolulu Museum of Art. And joining me with all the details is the curator of Asian arts, Sean Eichmann. Aloha. Aloha. Welcome to the Honolulu Museum of Art. Thank you so much for having me and so excited to be in the newest exhibition. So for those who don't know, where exactly are we and what's the exhibition all about? We are in the museum's Atsuhiko and Aina Tateuchi thematic gallery. It's a special exhibition gallery that focuses specifically on Japanese art. At this exhibition, the theme is animals in Japanese art, and it's a really wonderful exhibition, great subject for children with all sorts of wonderful stories about how animals feature in Japanese art. And how long is this one gonna be running? Uh, the exhibition will be up through July 23rd, so just a few months. Well, this fantastic screen that you see behind us here is a, a very special screen that's been in our collection for a very long time, but it actually hasn't been on display in the 15 years that I've worked at the museum. So this is the first time that people will have an opportunity to see it in a long time. Oh, wonderful. Oh, exciting that we finally get the chance to now look at it as well. And I mean animals. I feel like a lot of people can relate to animals. So what are some of the stories that we're going to be able to see and that are being told here? Well, the, the the idea behind the exhibition is that stories about animals really tell us more about ourselves than they actually do about animals. So all of the different works of art that we've selected all have stories that I think reveal as much about the human condition as, as they do about animals. A really great example of that are uh, the paintings that we have of foxes and badgers. Uh, foxes and badgers both seem like really ordinary, humble animals, but in traditional Japanese legend, they actually live for thousands of years. And over time, they can practice magic and learn how to transform into humans. Uh, so we have a, a great example uh, of a badger painting. Uh, badgers are animals that traditionally in Japan are associated with gluttony. They love to drink, they love to eat, they love to have fun. Uh, but you wouldn't really expect that they would then be depicted as a Buddhist monk. Mm -hmm. And the idea behind that is actually a, a subtle critique of Buddhist monks and the fact that they're not always necessarily completely honest about their vows. Ah, very interesting. So that's something that's really neat too. I mean, a little bit of a history lesson in a lot of this artwork as well. So how long for this particular exhibition is this gonna be up? Uh, this exhibition will be up through July 23rd. Okay, wonderful. And for those who wanna come out, where exactly is the Honolulu Museum of Art located and how do we find more info? We are located on Baratania Street, right across from Thomas Square Park, 900 South Baratania. And for more information about the museum and this exhibition, you can visit our website, honolulumuseum.org. Perfect, and that link will be on our website as well at kh12.com under the Living 808 tab. But again, it's only gonna be up for a couple of months, so make sure you come check out the newest exhibition here at HOMA. Back to the studio. That's one that, you know, kind of everyone can connect to, right? We all love animals. And seeing it in art, I think it kind of transcends the generations as well. So I think the younger kids are going to enjoy that exhibit too. Particularly the Japanese art. It has mm -hmm. a distinct way of uh, portraying whatever it's whatever's on the canvas and mm -hmm. so I think it's really really nice. Yeah nice. it's yeah. beautiful so make yeah. sure you check it out of course Honolulu Museum of Art always has really great new exhibits popping up so make sure you follow them we'll have all the details about their website on our website at kh12.com so you can connect and see when they have events happening as well. Okay we're going to take